everybody. Welcome to my little talk show here. I like to call the hot seat. I'm Jeff, a clown college dropout and lead of the Smart Deploy support team here with Spencer. Hello. Hey, Jeff. Uh, you are our general manager here at Smart Deploy. Thanks for coming on my little show here. You got it. You've been here for a long time, since customer number one. Yeah. Yeah. And so you've, you know, you've been involved with, you know, the small business and to the enterprise level kind of business. So I wanted to... Um, just bring you on and ask you really just, you know, what's it look like out there as far as that, the competitive landscape that, you know, we see? Sure. Uh, these days, probably a lot of config manager for Microsoft's pretty common. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously Microsoft's a huge company. It's what they're recommending to manage systems. Um, it's a great product for sure. And you can get config manager to do whatever you want. It's big. Yep. It's super massive and it's, you know, it's a mile long and, and an inch deep, so it's, it's kind, of, <laughs> kind of up to you to, to get it set up to do what sure. you want to do. Yeah. Um, the challenge is really not everybody is set up to to work that way, right? So I generally find that if you're 1,500 seats or more and you've got an IT team of uh, more than five people, usually 10 or more, um, then it starts to make some sense for you. Oftentimes you've got a good arrangement with Microsoft, so you have the software for, for a year and it's included with your EA agreement, right? Um, mm -hmm. Management is going to want to have you use the software that you're subscribed for rather than purchasing a, another tool. Um, so IT teams, you know, they can make it work and it can do everything from imaging to patching to um, asset management, inventory, like whatever you need, you can you can make it do do whatever. And so that's you know, obviously really compelling. Um, the challenge is really not everybody is in that 1500 seat size. They don't mm -hmm. have the team or teams of people to run and manage it and make the best use of it. And so. Generally, what we find is if you're less than 1,500 seats, you're an IT team of one to three to five people, you're responsible for everything, it's too much tool. And it does more stuff than you need, and it's too hard to make it do the things that you want it to do. Yeah. And so customers turn to their favorite search engine and end up having a conversation with us to learn about you know, what Smart Deploy can do and why it's different. So generally, we find uh, easier to get set up and ongoing. You can get working with Smart Deploy in a day and see some success imaging machines, right? With little to no skill set um, in this specific domain. Um, yeah, uh, does you know a lot of the heavy lifting around device driver management and user data migration and um, it really implemented well to be uh, hybrid on prem and a lot of customers love the cloud ability. So you know something with Smart Deploy you can do um, wire. Zero touch imaging over wireless networks yeah, using cool. third party cloud storage providers to migrate data. So it's kind of these core competencies where, you know, thinking of, we do a lot with education, for example, and it makes sense. You've got computer labs of, you know, 50 or more of the same machines. Let's make sure they all get set up the same way and they all get patched the same way and all that. So it makes, makes a lot of sense. And what we find is these are teams of people that, even if they have the free system center software from Microsoft or included with their agreement, um, they don't have the people to use it. And that's really the key. It's really the key is the people and the teams with the training and the expertise to use it. You see, you know, a lot of maybe summer interns helping schools out to refresh the whole environment while mm -hmm. students are off on summer break. Well, they don't have the skill set to use something. So, um, something like config manager. So they're looking for alternatives for, to, to do a lot of this work. So. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense. What you said about having the staff for it. Cause I've, I've made, you know, this is a long time ago before uh, Smart Deploy, I was, I've done demos involving System Center uh, Configuration Manager, and it's it's hard even to just show off, you wanted to show one piece of what it can do, that's sure. a lot of work, it's not something you can just, hey, install and get, make this stuff work, it's, you know, it's a huge undertaking, so yeah. yeah, it makes sense that something that's more like Smart Deploy that you can do it in an afternoon. Right? Yeah, yeah and I, I think, again, it puts a lot back on the team or people that work at the company and um, sometimes our greatest assets are people and they go home at night or you know get promoted or move on to another job or company. Now the business is left at risk because they don't have the actual humans to be able to run the tools to, right. to do the system. Okay. And, and I would imagine it'd be even harder if someone got it all set and then they, they left and then you bring in someone new and ask them to catch up and figure out all the ins and outs. Yeah. It might be even even harder yeah. than, yeah. Well. Happens a lot. Yeah, I bet. Well, I'd be interested to have you on again and see what it, if it's the same thing in six months. Yeah, stuff's always changing and evolving. So, yeah, let's touch base and see what the world looks like a little bit later. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming on. You got it, Jeff. And thank you for watching, Internet people. Uh, 
if you have any questions for me or in Spencer here, you can comment or uh, you know send them to us at uh, Smart Deploy. We'll have some links and information for you in the description below. And I would love it if you subscribed because that'll make me super popular and that's what I achieve to be every day. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.